What's poppin' Sigma Nation? It's your boy Kenny Kimono, and today we are blowing out the chest, bro, getting a big, juicy, nasty pump. Before we go any further, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed, bro. Let's get big. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Woo! Let's go. But what I want to talk about today is, is what I want to talk about today are mogging devices and mewing devices and looks maxing devices worth it, bro? Is that even worth your time? Is that worth your money? Eh, personally, no. I think the best you're gonna get is probably, you know, just become a gum chewer and that's gonna help a lot with your jawline to begin with. But really, I mean, you gotta think about it like this, man. If you're shredded to the gills, your face is gonna be shredded. Look up a picture of Dorian Yates. I'll throw one up on the screen right now. When he looks like a literal skull, bro. Ever being aesthetic, bro, is being lean, man. And right now, I'm bulking, bro. You're gonna be a little fluffy for a couple months. You're not gonna have shredded, diced up abs. Your obliques aren't gonna be showing like crazy. But that's okay, bro, because we're here to bulk. We're here to get bigger than last time. Like the button right now! If you like it, more people are gonna watch it. I will book. Anyway, bro, but what I'm trying to say is, are these devices, like, do you need to buy Mog Gum? Or the looks maxing is, is a little bit silly, uh, like bone smashing, or you're like a mewing tape. Want to be aesthetic, bro. The big thing is going to be going to the gym, working out, getting to a lean body fat percentage, and not spending all your money on special chewing gum to give you an enhanced jawline or instant abs or like tummy shrinkers. It's like, bro, like none of that works. Like you need, like, if you want to have a leaner face, like, yeah, like chewing gum is going to, you know, enhance those muscles a little bit. But if you just have like a, you know, loose skin, you can try to moisturize. But I mean, this is all part of the process, man. The older you're going to get, like how much how much younger are you going to look? You know what I'm saying? The goal is just to preserve and stay healthy and not obsess over these things, bro. Do not be obsessed with mog maxing, look maxing, uh, any of this stuff, bro. It's all super baloney, superficial, and it's really not going to further you or further your lifting career, bro. So if you're, if you're trying to get aesthetic and get big, don't be worried about your face, bro. I mean, obviously, lotion, skincare routine, that's about it. But, I mean, a lot of this stuff is going to happen internally, bro. Like, skin health is a big reflection of what you're putting into your body. Like, I know I'm a little hypocritical pounding the pizza <laughs> for the last couple nights. But are you going you know, bite to bite through some rebar? Like, your Baki character? What are you, Jack Hanma? What are you, Jack Hanma, bro? Anyway, bro, let's stop yapping. Let's time to start maxing. Let's get in the fucking gym, bro. What's popping, bro? We got another juicy chest day coming up, man. Let's get in here with the 185. And uh, let's shoot for the max, max reps, and let's see what we can do with that 225 today. The wrist is finally, finally healed up, bro. The hand is not a total nightmare situation, so that is good. Honestly, honestly, Stouffer, Togi, you got me feeling inspired, bro. Start my gambling career so we can afford these maximum Kaniac combos. We can get more than two reps, bro. Come on. Stop fucking around. <clears throat> We'll just do a controlled descent. Let's go. Woo. Say one and a half reps, bro. Feeling better, feeling a little better. We're about blasting this 225 for a couple more reps. Nope. One second set. So let's get in here with the 185. Get some nice, juicy, squeezy reps, bro.
Yeah. All right, bro, we have been doing a lot of like powerlifting style training, kind of one rep maxing every week, but it's time to jump back in the hypertrophy zone, drop the weight down about 10 pounds from what we're used to repping, and a uh, nice little 15, 12 squeeze. What's up, bro? Have a good one. Shout out to all the sick content Sigma subscribers, bro. We're getting freaky. We're almost at 200 subs, 15 subs to go. So smash like, smash subscribe, and let's blow today's back out. I would say we're fairly striated up right now, bro. Yeah. I love this incline, incline bench machine, bro. Freaky. Make sure you guys are pounding those calories and uh, pounding these Pounding that creatine, bro. Don't be skipping that creatine, bro. That's like five pounds of muscle a year. Yo, what is up, Sigma subscribers, bro? We're getting freaky in here with the Smith machine. Might seem a little redundant, might seem a little stupid to go from the, uh, the free weights to the Smith machine, but I guarantee you all my stabilizer muscles are blasted, so it's time to get blasted in a different way. You know what I'm saying? D135, let's go. Okay, going nice and juicy, man. That is definitely a killer combo, brother. All right, we in here with a nice, nice 155 in booby blaster. All right, let's stop fucking yapping. Let's start, man. I do not want to pay the poop tax. Poop tax evaded. If I hear that I couldn't even fill out an A cup bra anymore on my comments, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. These are at least B's. Come on, be generous. Yo, that was the chest day, bro. Feeling freaky, feeling juicy, man. Nice, super squeeze, bro. It's definitely really liking the chest fly machine. Really digging the Smith machine for the incline, bro. If you haven't tried it out, try it out, bro. Getting freaky. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel. Without further ado, let's go check out. Let's go check out the juicy little pump. Whoa. And cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Mateo, brother. Sorry. Thanks for all the support on the channel, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and blow today's back out. Let's get freaky. 